Jesus Christ, Prato Leba Mudimu this day. This is our last Sunday of this year. But what is important is that yesterday it was Christmas, we were celebrating the birth of Christ. Therefore, it is important, brethren, to realize that Christmas is very important. Now that we have celebrated it, we need to understand. Why Christmas? Why do we have to celebrate Christmas? But if we read from the Bible, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says, For us a child shall be born, to us a son shall be given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And then when you read John 3, uh, 16 and to 17, I'll just read 16 because it complements this verse that I've just read. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whatsoever, whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Now, we need to understand that the birth of Christ reminds us of who Christ is and why we celebrate Christ. 
Christ came in this body, but Christ was God himself. Christ grew up like any other person. In Luke chapter 2, verse 59, it says Jesus was born and grew like any other child. He grew in stature. He grew. He learned all the things that we as people have, we, we are learning. He had earthly parents. That is also very important that he had, he came as he came here on earth through birth. He had parents. Now we find that in our scripture, Matthew, uh, let me just see, Luke, Matthew 13, verse 54 to 56. And then he had also a ministry. And he preached to people the gospel. But what is important is that we need also to know that through his ministry, he was evangelizing. He was talking about the kingdom of God. He was also talking about what God can do to reconcile human being and himself. Now, this is one of the purpose that Jesus came. But he could not do anything except to come and die for us. And as a result, he had to die and resurrect. That is why he is not like any other prophet, great prophet that we, we used to have. He has resurrected. Now he was born, he preached, he lived amongst the people, and then he was also crucified. And he was God, and God was in him. We find this scripture in uh, John 14, verse 12. In Isaiah 53, we read also that by his stripes we were healed. Now, healing is portion is some of the things that you used to specialize in. In the Bible, in the New Testament, we, have, we, we read about how he grew and what, how he involved himself in the ministry, how he healed people, how he resurrected uh, dead people. Now, brethren, Christmas, Christmas, now, John 1.14, and the world became flesh, the word became flesh and lived amongst us. And we saw his glory. Glory as belong. This belongs to the only begotten son of the father. Now Jesus, as he was here on earth, in, he represented God. And that is why in one of the scriptures, when Philip was asking him to say, how, if you want to see father, what must we do? He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the one who has sent me, you have seen the father. Therefore, from from And then how The prophet Simeon in other words, Simeon was just waiting for this promise. And as you have been celebrating Christmas yesterday, you are living in that promise. For God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life, retola through Christ, retola humorena jes, retola hari dumela huyen. Praise God, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now, to show that he was also, uh, he came here as God. We read also from John chapter 1, verse 29. It tells us, Kamu Prokan Tuka, John the Baptist, as he was busy baptizing, he recalitatile Abona 
Jesu atla uri bona ke konyana modimo e tlosandibe God became a flesh God had to become what Jesus is God had to send Jesus to come and die for us. Now here, into the, uh, John was confirming that Jesus is the Lamb of God. He will take away the sins of this world. His death on, on, the, on the cross brought and bought forgiveness and cleansing of all unrighteousness for all who believed and received to him. Bafmana tuka, ya hupito ba naba mudimu. Huyaka Johanne chapter 1 verse 12. Iri bote bali dumetin lintile. Liba afadi tukelo, ta hupito ba naba mudimu. Babu waka kreste muna bahayeso. Hore kreste utile jole ka linti, abaka harabatu. Iri bote ba mohelang. Bafuile di tukelo, ta hupito ba naba mudimu. Now, hutola hamre na jeso, hubutlo kwa hahulu, now, what is important? So now, I'm talking to you. Utuhile but what is also important, Kihore, Kemurana Jesu, how do you mean a Jesu? Murana Jesu, who hoot seta, Moto Humudim, Murana Jesu, Kiana hoot seta mudim, how fella, Ubulela di bita ha huen, how fella, we nehela huen. Murana Jesu, Utsetsi, Hore Runa, Rahutala Nelimudimo, that is very important. Hore Tibore, the birth of Christ. And the cross together makes grace complete. If I come to come to see it, oh, Peter, he thinks, oh, hurry, se fapan, oh, rozola ha hai, le se fapano, di bo shoka ha hulu bo pilombo na. So kirata ho chore, mudi mo orifile mahau, mudi mo orifile hore khutle la nilena. Ka Christe Jesus, kanto ho Christe, ha kona leto le orika leta, kanto ho Christe, ha kona kamo orika khutle la nang le mudi mo kate. So, Munda na Jesu, uti le hor khutse ta hor kopanya mmoto le mudim. Therefore, it is important to understand our we need to come to him. Matthew 11 verse 28. Iri come to me all who are weary and heavenly burdened. Baha Yesu batu ba ime etu esma bani we celebrating Christmas. Many people had many questions. Baba mbana ba tabi ile ba li juang. Impa ni mantua bu shokwa au mre na jeso. Ari tlo hela nloon, ari tlo eti nloon. Ki hore, itang honda lo na boche. Ba ime tuing, ari kita li imula. Hallelujah. Ari nka njoko ya ka, verse 29. Ari nka njoko ya ka hobani ibu bebe. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest. I just want to make this plea to say, come to Jesus. He can, lay, he can make your weight. He can make your problem to be lighter. He can make you to reconcile with, the, with God. You cannot reconcile with other people if you have not reconciled with God. Jesus is the king. Jesus is important. Jesus we need to celebrate Christmas as we celebrate him, the King of Kings. So, brethren, this plea says, come unto me, or come unto me, all who are weary and heavily burdened. I don't know your situation, but you can come, you can invite him. Maybe later if you, sp you, you speak with your mouth and you confess and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ, that God raised him from the death, that Jesus is the king, then you'll be saved. So I want to make this plea to say, as you celebrate Christmas, let Christmas be every day in your life. As we have started yesterday with Christmas, continue to celebrate Jesus. Continue to celebrate him. Invite him in your life. Invite him to come and be the king of kings, to be the king in your lives, 
so that he can save you. It is through him that we become what God wants us to be. So I want to invite you, I want to challenge you to say, come unto him, all who are heavenly burdened. Come to Jesus. As I'm going to pray, I want to pray for you as you are listening to this video. God loves you. God wants you to come to him. And you can only come through him. You can only come to him through Christ Jesus, who is the king of kings, king of glory. He died for you. He came here on earth for you. He died for you. And he resurrected. He is seated at the hand in, in heaven, at the right hand of God. So, so let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for these ones. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen.